day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. And what this last verse is telling you how not to be a Havidian. Yeah. Because he said, no case. I, I, did, did I miss that? Did, did, <laughs> <laughs> they'll call yourself a Havidian. Yeah. And yet you apply this case to yourself. He you just want to go ahead and find you another case. country. There is no, there is no doorway there is no entrance <laughs> you can't tunnel in Come you can't on, climb over you can't you can't get you a you can't scalp a ticket <laughs> <laughs> and, yet, and, and yet and yet people back to the everybody as we close out and i'll ask you to pray out for me it goes back to what shall a man do for the exchange of his soul. Yeah. That's deep, ain't it? Because if you sit there, that scripture, last scripture you had there is, you shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven or be a Havidian. Just in case people don't say what we're talking what's a Havidian? Let people be know. a child of God. You can't hey! be a child of God. Come on, bro. That's why the Beatitudes. That's why I'm asked that question. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his what? His yes, soul. So. Or what shall a man do for exchange? Of, that's exchange. Of what? What's that? That's kind of like a transaction, isn't it? Well, in my mind, what you do is you crucify Christ. That's how you exchange your soul. Wow. Wow. You said to do it on your own or try you to crucify, crucify him. Again. You crucify Christ. By you already denying him. Huh? By, by denying him. D. Uh, um, that that is, and that's the only penalty that's going to get you into hell. It's you the only, it is the last sin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That, so hey, look, that's a blessing. But we we're trying to equip saints. You, you know, that was the whole intent of whosoever that will listen to this is to equip you to do the work of the ministry. Amen. And it's, if you don't do that, you're going to miss it. Yeah. Uh, I Just want you to pray it. out, but you know, one of the things I want you to know is, brother, we have not done communion. A communion in a minute. Yeah. Are you prepared to do one? I am not prepared. Do you? But it looks like, but it looks like you are. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to do one? You know what? That that'd be fine. You know, especially since is the subject we've been talking about. Maybe yes, give me, sir. Give me, he or should I say it in, in Japanese, Chotamate o Kurasai. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you just spoke tongues to me, because I know. You better go. Amen. As he's going to get it, what we try to do is the communion, because he said, do this as offerings and remembrance of him. Amen. So that's what we're going to do, the communion, because we should do it and often, as often as we can, when we can, uh, remember what Christ did for us on the cross. That that that's what we're trying to do. That's what I believe uh uh it's important to us to remember Christ is our example. You know, uh, and the fact is that if, if people persecuted Christ, they're going to persecute you. But you still able to let your light shine and let people know the whole purpose of in the kingdom is the beatitude is a good way to look at it. If you're trying to understand your behavior and how you're supposed to live, look at the beatitude. 
Or I like the ones I use in the fruits of the spirit found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Now the fruit of the spirit, and the key to it is it's talking about the fruit of the spirit. It is the Holy Spirit allowing the Holy Spirit to manifest in you so people can see him and not you. The scripture we talked about was deny yourself so that you can allow your light to shine and when people look past you, they see Christ. Just like if, the, if you're in the flesh, when people are going to look past you <laughs> and see you operating in the flesh. So what we're trying to say is let, let us live this gospel, not legalistic, but in spirit. And in spirit is the word of God. You are what Brother Asher called Hamidians. If you have Hamidians, people should be able to recognize you as a video. And if you slip up and fall, one of the things of a video, brother, I said, is the grace and the mercy. Yeah. <clears throat> Meaning I ain't perfect. Nobody's supposed to be perfect. You're not perfect. He, he, brother Dallas will tell you, he's not perfect. I'm not perfect. But we should strive to be. But I'm that close. Hey, you that close. <laughs> That's what I tell my wife. <laughs> I, know. I, ain't, I ain't perfect, baby, but I'm that close. <laughs> and, and all the close I like to say that you could be, I'm going to do another one on TikTok. And the fact is, we need to start differentiating between this, this legalistic and form of God and this personality. They, they're like, you going fishing. You go into the game, you go into a basketball game, a real basketball game, or college high school basketball game. You go into a barbecue. You go into, uh, you just trying to enjoy your life. You don't have to be, uh, get drunk so much that you hurt some hurting somebody, right? Mm -hmm. You don't need to sit there and try to sleep with everything under the sun. Can you? You can enjoy. You can enjoy life with the wife you got. You know. Everything you need is in the house. So you can you can have that's what I'm saying, the characteristic of love, joy, peace, long suffering. What are those? Those are not those are not legalistic things, are they? Hmm. Those are just characters. You can go play golf like you do. That don't yeah. mean you ain't saved. What I'm trying to tell you is people that sit there and try to if you ain't in the church every time the door is open. They question your salvation. I sure will. We'll call you in a heartbeat. Isn't that the, isn't that the, isn't that <laughs> what everything okay? <laughs> yeah. Right. And I think if that's the we just gotta get past that and be more line up with the characteristics of the Holy Spirit. Line up with the beatitude. And they're all beneficial to us. So give us a communion, bro. And I'll let you go. <laughs> go you go ahead. You do okay. the communion. All right, let's do it for the bread. Hold the bread up. Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless this bread that represents the body of Jesus Christ. You told us to do this often, often in the remembrance of what Christ did on the cross, often in the fact that you gave your only son for our sin and our transgression to give us a way, a connection back to you. This bread represents what he did. And this bread also represents and reminds us for us to pick up our cross and die daily denying ourselves so that Christ can be manifested through us or the Holy Spirit to be manifest through us as we do your will. So we thank you for what Christ did because now we're part of a covenant, not because of the color of our skin, not because of where we came from, because of what the decision we made. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, amen. May break and eat. To hold up the cup. Let that cup break that cracker down. <laughs> Heavenly Father, as you bless this cup to represent the blood of Jesus Christ. I hold this cup up because it kind of reminds me that it's the blood of Jesus that washes away my transgressions. It is the blood of Jesus that's greater than bulls and goats because all those things did was cover my sin. But the blood of Jesus goes after the consciousness of the transgressions 
of sin that's in the flesh and what I've done, it goes after that consciousness to change it and redeem me. This is the same blood that when I go before my Father in heaven, is the blood of Jesus that he sees and not me. And I thank God he don't see me, but see Jesus in me. I thank you and ask you to bless this cup. And Father, it's for the healing of our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, amen. amen. Nothing but the blood, sir. Amen. Go ahead and pray us out. Appreciate it. Amen. Oh, Father, we thank you once again for an awesome time. Thank you, Lord. Uh, learning of you. Yes, you. We, we, we thank you for this information that has been going forth. Yes. That we have a revelation yes. of those things that pertain to our life. Yes. In this world. Yes. Lord. We thank you for showing us who we are, how we should be, what to expect. Yes. We thank you for those things that you have already done for us. Yes. We thank you for showing us that we are your children. Yes. And that you are our Father. Yes. You are God. And that we have a Lord and a Savior. Yes. That we submit ourselves as your children mm. of your kingdom. Yes. To do your will. Yes. And to proclaim this gospel. Mm. Father, we are not ashamed of the gospel, for no. we know it is. <laughs> the power that you walk through in this earth through us. Lord, we just truly thank you for those who were here and heard this and that the word falls on good ground yes. and that it, it produces fruit in the lives of those. We also thank you for those who hear it and don't believe. Yes. You know, because we know that this word must be proclaimed and taught throughout this world. Yes, Lord. You know, and uh, we just trying to fulfill your will. And we thank you for that. We thank you, Lord God, that this time was set aside to fellowship with you and that we do believe that you yes. were here with us, that yes. the Holy Spirit was here because your word says it was so. Yes. And, uh, we just love you for it. Thank we you. pray that you uh, continue to flow into our lives, those things that you would have us to do. Yes. <laughs> and those changes that are still Woo. taking places in our lives. We thank you, Lord God, and we have an expectations of hey. victory in this life. Yes. Uh, we pray that we are not moved by this world and this world system. We pray that we do not get caught up into the legalistic things that are going on in this world yes. and that the enemy does not pull us into the cares of this world, yeah. but that we stay kingdom minded. Woo. <laughs> and we pray this and we look forward to meeting you again. If it is your will in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Hey, have a good week. Uh, the final, you got basketball again today. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's the final four. Did it break your bracket? Did you did you Man, it be nobody's bracket? <laughs> <laughs> if somebody got this bracket, they deserve they, they deserve a great prize, man. <laughs> if they figured well, this out. What was Duke Duke this I saw in the news and said they got third they're going up for the thirteenth time with this coach, make yeah. it to the final four. Is yeah. it is it the is it final game Monday? That I'm not sure of. Okay, uh, but so who's who made it the final four? I'm I'm not sure. I, I haven't paid too much uh, attention to it. Um, I just catch catch it every now and then and uh, see see a few highlights. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I've I've been I've been caught up into. 
into uh, caring for my sister-in-law. Okay. She, she had uh, a hip replacement. We ain't talking the one that came to the Bible study of it. Yeah, yeah. Not, no, not that one. Uh, did she come? I don't think she came. Not that one. Okay. Uh, my wife's sister. She uh, and she was staying here with us uh, for a few weeks. You know, okay. And we were just dealing with that uh, <laughs> that trial. Yes, sir. And, uh, <laughs> You know, but thank God we made it through. She's back home. Glory to God. And uh, we're trying to find the norm here. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's not easy. No, no, no. To take care, of, especially a grown person. Yeah. 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 But it's, it showed that love, though. It showed that love. Yeah. Yeah, we had to. <laughs> you know, nobody, yeah. nobody else. Not, not that there's nobody else, but uh, it, 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 it it stretched us. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, but it, it's it's a, it still at the same time as reward the fact of trying, doing what you can. Oh yeah, and and then we didn't do it for reward. We did it because it needed to be done. Yeah. And uh, so. Amen. Well, so you have a good. Huh? I said we we made it through. through yeah. That. Amen. Yeah. Now she going back to California. Where's she going back? Oh, no, she she lives here. Oh, okay. Yeah, she she lives here, uh, Michelle. I, you've seen. I think she's she's actually been in uh, virtual settings before. Okay. I'm I'm trying to remember if if I actually brought her uh, to one of the uh, Bible studies. I, I think only something I remember was the young, the other sister-in-law. Yeah, the one that was that came up visited from Louisiana, and I brought her in. There. Oh I yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you have a good week, and you too. Uh, we'll catch you later. I'm gonna shoot some TikToks. I, th <laughs> I think I'm gonna use some of these. I yeah. just thought about this. There's some good stuff in here. Yep. Bless God. Amen. Amen. Stay blessed, brother. All right. You too. Be blessed. Bye bye. Hey man, for the rest of you, God bless you. Let's do some some short TikToks. <laughs> hey, but we'll also do some the ones where we can do a vlog and uh cover some of the conversations. Because uh man, Christ was filled the law. And we're not we it's not Christianity is not a legal, it's not about legalism, it's about living. So let's live it, amen? All right, I'll check you later. I hope you have a great week. And uh, see you out there in the, what you call it, the uh, cyber world. Stay blessed.